Hey, Chandler Bolt here, and in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to run your meetings in Asana. Now, meetings are one of the best things I think that we do at Self Publishing School. We run really, really, really good meetings. They're focused, they're productive, uh, and it's probably different to the meetings in your company. I know a lot of people complain about meetings as like one of the biggest time sucks. They take a bunch of time, they're unorganized, they don't start on time. Uh, you're not truly solving real problems. They're kind of all over the place. What's the purpose? You've got too many of them. Like, there's a lot of complaints around meetings. Now, I've got a different video about how we run meetings at Self Publishing School. That's a really, really good video. Highly recommend, if you haven't watched that video, watch that first. But in this video, I'm gonna go through how we actually run the agendas of our meetings in Asana. So this is kind of a microcosm of a video uh, that shows uh, the actual nuts and bolts of how we do that. And then the meetings video is just big picture how we run meetings. Now, this is just something that I think it works really well when you're running a virtual team. And we use Asana, which is our task management software, to actually organize, this is kind of like, uh, the whiteboard where we have everything for our meetings. So we use Asana to organize our thoughts to help them run super productive. And this is great if you're running a virtual team. So I'm gonna dive into my computer. I'm gonna give you a little tutorial of how we run meetings in Asana. All right, here we are inside my computer. I'm gonna give you a couple examples here. So we use Asana for all meetings, no matter what. Every meeting that we have has some sort of an agenda inside Asana. So I'm starting with our marketing weekly action call. I figured I'd show you some specific meetings from actual team meetings. So like maybe the marketing meeting, sales meeting, um, our leadership meeting, things like that. Then I can show you our daily huddle. That's another fundamental uh, meeting that we have and that we use this in. And then I'll also show you our book club. So these are all videos you know I have elsewhere. I mentioned this, um, I've got my video on how to run meetings, check that out. A lot of this will make more sense, kind of fill in the holes here. I also have a video on how to uh, run a company book club, so I'll, I'll show that to you. So, but we're gonna start here. Uh, this is our marketing weekly action call. So we call it a WAC weekly action call. Um, so our marketing WAC. Now every meeting has three roles, has a facilitator, has an action grabber, and has a timekeeper. And there's a person assigned to each of those roles. Now the facilitator, this is the person running the meeting. The action grabber is responsible for grabbing who, what wins. Uh, and the timekeeper is responsible for keeping us on time. Now, every meeting also has a meeting purpose and KPI. So you can see what makes this meeting a success. You can see that here, the key performance indicator. This is reducing our cost to acquire a customer and booking qualified appointments. The purpose of this meeting is to discuss growth test ideas and things that reduce our cost to acquire a customer and keep the sales team's calendars full with qualified appointments. So that's the purpose of this meeting. Then you get into the actual structure. Now, one thing that we do here a lot of times is that the facilitator, so the person running this meeting, will start the meeting. It kind of sounds like a news broadcast and where they'll start the meeting by saying something like, hey, welcome to the marketing weekly action call where we're responsible for reducing costs to acquire a customer and booking qualified appointments. The purpose of this meeting is to accomplish things that do that. Uh, with that said, let's go into the meeting. Right. Uh, or, you know, some people have more fun with it. Uh, the guy who runs the sales team says, you know, welcome to the sales weekly action call where the purpose is to drive revenue, increase close rate, live happy lives, make tons of money, have, you know, have an awesome family, live happy. This is like he just kind of goes crazy with it. But it's funny. But it reminds people, hey, this is why we're here. This is what we should prioritize to talk about. All right, so that's the segue into the meeting a lot of times from the person who's running it. And then we have the actual structure. So the structure is gonna be different depending on the meetings. You can see almost every weekly action call has segue or good news. So we've got how much time does this section take? And then what are the things here? Right, so you've got people putting their personal wins uh, and their business wins, and this is in order. So now this saves a ton of time. This whole thing's in order of what we're gonna cover it. Uh, and so now all of a sudden we're not having to, you know, wait and see, oh, is it your turn? Is it my turn? Is it, you know, uh, whatever, because we're just going straight through this. So this helps us to be really tight and it avoids dead space or white space in the meetings. So then you see here we move into weekly priorities. Uh, then we've got headlines and information to pass along. We've got KPIs review and then IDS, so identify, discuss, solve. And I kind of talk about this in the how we run meetings and what this means and all that stuff, um, but we're solving our biggest challenges for the team or for the company, and then we have who, what, wins. So these are the action items from the meeting that we just finished, uh, and a lot of times these should be due in the next week or so. 
So you see that, and then you've got concluding by rating the meeting. Always rate the meeting, uh, and this is very simple. We have the order in here, which this helps so that there's never white space, so it's never waiting on people, and also the person who's running the meeting, in this case it's Jordan, uh, or me, you know, I'm, I'm the CEO of the company, so uh, the, we always speak last. So you give a rating of one to 10, but you don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna uh, go first because then all of a sudden it's groupthink and people are rating it based on what you said. So the person who's running the meeting is always last. And then if I'm on the meeting, I'm always after them because I don't wanna, uh, you know, uh, skew the numbers one way or the other. I wanna get honest feedback on how the meeting is. So there you have it. That's how we run for this meeting. I'll show you a couple other quick examples uh, just, so you can, uh, just so you can see this here. Um, I'll show you the sales weekly action call. So you can see we got a facilitator, timekeeper, action grabber. We've got the meeting purpose KPI. Last week's good news, you know, personal and professional good news. You got sales KPIs, you've got strengths. So what are the things we did well? And then restraints, or what are things that we need to solve? Uh, and if we solve these challenges or issues or whatever you want to call them, um, then we're going to perform better. So we go into that. Uh, and then we have headlines or information to pass along. And then lastly, who, what wins and conclude by rating the meeting. So you'll notice this is very similar. Who, what wins, rate the meeting, pretty much always one of the last things that we cover. Now I'll show you the last couple of things here. I'm gonna show you the daily huddle and you can see how we do this. We've got the meaning and purpose of the daily huddle. Um, which is LER, so labor efficiency rate. This is a daily check-in to maximize company LER by solving problems, identifying operational efficiencies, and keeping the team focused. So this is kind of the pulse of the company as a whole. This is very simple, very quick. So we've got five minutes, what's up? So what's your number one priority for today? And any different what's ups? Then you've got five minutes of daily numbers. And the way we do this too is we have green, red. So were you green or red last week? And then you'll notice that inside each of these, there's a description. You know, you can see how we're doing, pacing on this goal. A lot of times um, there will be um, specific spreadsheets or things like that. So we've got our organic traffic KPIs. You can click over, you can see these spreadsheets. So if someone new is on this meeting, it's very easy. They, sh they can just go through all these things. They know what to expect and they can click into all the relevant spreadsheets. So this helps with onboarding. This helps with everyone being able to access the numbers, moving quickly because there's an order. I mean, we have, gosh, I think close to 10 people on this daily huddle and we do this whole meeting in 15 minutes or less. So you've got the what's up number one priority, you've got the daily numbers, uh, and then you've got the challenges. Okay, so we go through these challenges, um, this, and if people aren't submitting challenges, <laughs> um, that's usually not a good thing according to scaling up because people are often challenged. So they submit these challenges here, uh, and then we've got who, what wins. So very simple, very easy. This is a quick meeting. Um, this is the pulse. This is the heartbeat of the company as a whole, and that's how we run it. That's how we keep it tight. Uh, now, I want to show you one last thing, uh, and this is going to be actually uh, the company book club. Um, so this is a meeting template for how we run this. So you got the project as a whole. We have how the book club's gonna work up here. We have re the reading schedule, things like that. So it's very simple. Um, so people can see what they need to read ahead of time. Uh, there's a little explainer on how the, video, how the book club's gonna work. It links up to one of my principal's videos, which you should definitely watch on how to run a company book club. Uh, but then you see this is very simple. So the stories from out in the wild, um, so people add, hey, this is the way I've seen this book kind of come to life in my personal life, uh, in my company life, whatever, over the last week. Um, and then there's 30 minutes of lessons learned and topics for discussion. And then lastly, there's takeaway or application, and then who, what wins. So this is another template for the book club. So now you've seen our weekly action calls, you've seen the daily huddle, and you've seen our book club meeting templates. So there you have it. That's how we run meetings in Asana. Now, this can work no matter the project management software that you use. So if you don't use Asana, that's totally cool. If you use Basecamp or Trello or Teamwork or any of those softwares, uh, it can work in there as well. Now, I'm very partial to Asana. <laughs> I've tried a bunch of the different project management software. Uh, quite frankly, most of them suck, and Asana is amazing. Asana is just 
far and away the best project management software that I've ever used. <laughs> uh, and we tried a lot of them, so I highly recommend it. And Asana can work really well. Uh, but even if you don't have Asana or you don't use Asana, you know, use this in your software that you do use. Or if you don't use project management software, take the fundamental principles that I talk about and use those in your meetings. So if you're in person, you can maybe use a whiteboard or you can use a piece of paper or whatever that looks like. But find a way to take these fundamental principles and kind of the architecture of the meeting structure and use that in your meetings. I hope you found this helpful. As always, comment below. Let me know. What do you like about this process? What would you change? What do you do to run meetings effectively in your company? Have you ever tried this? Like we're the only company that I've ever seen that runs meetings like this in Asana and uses kind of the project system um, as a meeting template and a meeting structure. So it's kind of wild. Every time I show this to someone, uh, they're blown away. So maybe you think it's a fit, maybe you don't, but I'd love to hear your feedback uh, either way on how you run productive meetings. So scroll below the video right now, comment, click the subscribe button. Seriously, yes, click the subscribe button. Check out the other video that I have on how to run effective meetings if you haven't already. Really, really great video, highly recommend it. Click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.